are fortunate to have older people around us. They are fonts of wisdom, experience, and storytelling, and we should look to them for guidance. Unfortunately, far too often, we tend to forget or worse, ignore the older people in our lives. So today, on this, the International Day of Older People, let us take some time to celebrate and recognize our older people for their many contributions and sacrifices in the development and advancement of our society. This year's theme is Pandemics, do they change how we address age and aging? We have seen an emergence of COVID-19 this year, which has caused disturbances across the world, especially as the higher risk is confronted by older people. The COVID-19 pandemic is causing untold fear and suffering for older people across the world. Beyond its immediate health impact, the pandemic is putting older people at greater risk of poverty, discrimination, and isolation. That is why this year's theme, Pandemics, Do They Change How We Address Age and Aging, aims, among other things, to raise awareness of the special health needs of older people and their contributions to their own health and to the functioning of the societies in which they live, increase awareness and appreciation of the role of the healthcare workforce in maintaining and improving the health of older people, increase understanding of the impact of COVID-19 on older people and its impact on healthcare policy, planning, and attitudes. Our society, the St. Lucian Society, has been a resilient people who have braved other pandemics and came out strong. We have seen a community approach to dealing with pandemics where persons look out for each other. Let us be encouraged to continue that community approach, especially where our older people are concerned, as we live through our new normal, as it is called, with the ongoing challenges faced by the COVID-19 pandemic. Older people contribute in many ways to the families and communities, yet the extent of these contributions depends heavily on one factor, health. If people can experience these extra years of life in good health, and if they live in a supportive environment, their ability to do the things they value will be little different from that of the younger generation. Over the next three decades, the number of older people worldwide is projected to be more than double that of the current 143 million to 426 million in 2050. St. Lucia is among the countries where such increase is expected and it is our duty as a country and family to make every effort to prepare the population increase of older people. As a government, we are very grateful for the many strides being made by our all in caring for our older people. A special thank you goes out to the community health aides who regularly visit our older people at home and try at the best to provide them with the necessary health care. Special thanks also goes to the SSDF home care staff who provides an array of home care services to our older people, such as health care, personal care, and companionship. Without them, a lot of our older people would not experience such longevity of life. Let us on this day, October 1st, International Day of Older People, say thank you to our older people for all their hard work and contribution to the growth and development of our country and people. As a citizenry, let us make a special commitment to care for our older people and not treat them as an afterthought, especially as we go through this COVID-19 crisis. Let us treat them as a priority. Let's treat them as a priority generation so that they may feel safe, comfortable, and know that they too are important despite their old age. Due to the protocols for the prevention and spread of the COVID-19 pandemic, the celebration of the lives of our older people are limited. However, three older people are being recognized for longevity of life. Octavie Augustine of Morgul Swazel, who is 108 years, Martina Alphonse of Plateau Babono, who is 106 years, and Eldika Philomen Souvenir of Grand Riviere Grosile, who is 105 years and will turn 106 on October 23rd. A further four older people are being recognized for their significant contributions in the development of their communities and the country by extension. Augustina Florence Lastic of Grosile, Lucy Patsy Sensi of Canaries, 
Sebastian Chico of Labry, and Urban Keith Glass of Grand River Denry. Remember our older people, health and life matters just as any other. We love and appreciate you, our older people, and we wish you a happy International Day of Older Persons. I thank you.